Photography is my passion, and there's nothing I love capturing more with my camera than faces, particularly kids' faces. They're so expressive. Of course, they grow up so quickly, and before you know it, time has passed without shooting some of their story. I'm Karen Walrand. I believe in the power of photography and words. The practicing gratitude can make you joyful. That family is everything, and I am wildly convinced you're uncommonly beautiful. Welcome to The Karen Wallen Show. Hi, so you bought that brand new beautiful SLR camera, and it's sitting in the back of the closet collecting dust. Or perhaps you're using your camera, but you're not getting the images that you hoped. Well, never fear. Today, we're talking about capturing extraordinary images of our kids. I'm thrilled to be joined by Amanda, who you might know as Cafe Amanda from Cafe Mom, and she's a mom to two beautiful boys. Welcome. Thank you for having me. Okay, so let me just start by describing what an SLR camera is, because sometimes we don't know exactly what it is. It's basically a camera like this one where you can take the big, the, guy. The big lens off, the big one. So I've actually been shooting for mine for years, but I can say that my relationship with photography totally changed once my daughter was born. How did your relationship to photography start? Um, well, I actually took a photojournalism class in college and nice. loved it, and then um, had a baby. And when he was six months old, I got this beautiful camera yes. um, and used it pretty, pretty solidly for about a year until I got pregnant and busy and had another baby and then couldn't you know, drag it along, along with a diaper bag and everything else, so just started taking pictures with my cell phone. Well, but I'm amazed, like you actually took the camera out and you used it, right? In automatic mode, but yes. You know what, <laughs> that's okay. Automatic mode is totally cool. Your camera's Good. got a lot of power. Of course, if mm. you move off of automatic, you get even more power, but yes. there's so many things you can do to help up your game. Cool. So we sent you out on assignment. You did. And mm. you took some photographs. Mm -hmm. So. Can we take a look at of a couple? Of course, right. All right. Take so let's take a look at what we've got here. Um, okay. Oh, they, you got some cute kids. Thank you. You got some great Photoshop <laughs> subjects. You. These are awesome. So we got a great shot of your two boys here. They mm -hmm. look like they are rambunctious little They ones. definitely are, yes. And that picture sort of captures their dynamic as brothers together, one annoying the other, but both still smiling and having fun. So. Absolutely, oh, they're gorgeous. So tell me it. about this shot. What do you like about it? What what don't you like about it? I like the energy. Um, I like that they're both smiling and yeah. looking natural and fun. Um, it's a little blurry and it was a little dark and, and shadowy and I wasn't sure, you know, how to fix those things. But other than that, I, I thought it was okay. Yeah, it's a good shot. You know what, and I, I actually am not distracted by any blur at all because mm -hmm. there's clearly a lot of motion, motion. that mm -hmm. is going on that and that's all part of the story. Right. So I think that's really, really great. I love that he's squeezing his brother's mm -hmm. head. Of that's course. really, really hysterical. <laughs> he um, need that ear. I, exactly, you know, I love it. You know, the only thing that I would change on this, honestly, is, um, is a bit of the framing. There's a mm -hmm. lot of empty space above right. your older son's um, head. So I probably would have just shifted the the way that you framed it a little bit, but otherwise it's a good shot. Well, it really thank is good. You. Thanks. All right, let's take a look at another one. Okay. okay. Ooh, angel face. Yes, a moment of, oh. of angel from him. A angel face and mm -hmm. legs. And and some bruised, <laughs> bruised summer legs off to the side, of course. You know, with this with this shot, if you're a photojournalist, this is actually kind of cool, right? Mm -hmm. You got the little legs things right here, but I've seen. but clearly, obviously, the focus is supposed to be on this beautiful right. face, right? Yes. It's something that a lot of people struggle with. They have, okay, they've got a zoom lens, mm -hmm. and they may zoom, but then it doesn't zoom as much as they want. Mm -hmm. So what I like to call is do a, a two-footed zoom, mm -hmm. just actually step into the shot. Revolutionary. Exactly. No, it's funny, we sort of forget that yeah. it's there. Um, so if you just zoomed right into that shot, that would have been amazingly beautiful, beautiful seller shot. Good to, good to know. But you've got an eye. Like, you just, Thank these you. are some really, really great shots. And actually, that leads to a couple of other tips that I would love to share with everyone. One, getting kids to sit still and smile can be a bit of a chore. So my advice, just go with it. Use a zoom lens if you can, and capture their moves and expressions without getting them to pose, or even letting them know that you're shooting. Secondly, make sure your lighting is correct. Natural daylight is always best. Artificial light tends to discolor your shots. Third, be sure to get as close as you can to your subject. Fill the frame with them as much as possible. And finally, shoot, 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 shoot. Shoot as often as possible. The more you shoot, the more you have to improve. So how then do you decide when to drag your big SLR camera or when to just rely on your cell phone camera? That's a hard thing even for photographers to do, right? Mm -hmm. Because um, those SLR cameras are big and they're bulky and you don't necessarily want to carry them all the time. Right. And I'm a pretty new convert to cell phone photography. You can do some really, really amazing stuff. Mm -hmm. 
So my tip is you need to start thinking like a photographer mm -hmm. and you start to look at things that, like light right. and what's happening and mm. that sort of stuff and decide where it is. One of the things, my favorite tip to do is like the golden hour. Okay, what's that? Okay, so the golden hour, it happens about 30 to 45 minutes before dusk. It's when the light becomes really beautiful and golden right. and everybody looks great in it. Gives you that glow. It gives you, everybody's hair starts to reflect the light beautifully. Wow. You get wonderful catch lights and eyes. It's absolutely gorgeous. So if you're in the mood to take the camera out, wait till that hour on and a beautiful day, a clear day. Get the kids to the park. Or grab the ground. kids, grab the, get, grab the partners, grab the friends, grab everything and right, head out and just shoot. Another way to do it, of course, is just depending on the event. If it's a really yeah. big event, if we got a graduation or a birthday party or anything else, that's also a great time to have to, your good camera. Sure, yeah. why not? Just you know, start thinking about what it is you want to capture ahead of time, and then you know, the camera phone will end up being sort of those your default. quick fix. Yeah, yeah. You know, those quick fix type thing. So you took a few more shots. I did, yeah. and these are ones that you're sort of proud of. Ah, uh, yeah, this uh, these I, I liked. Um, this the next one. Um, was there it was a rainy day and yeah. uh i was like oh you guys just look so cute in your little matching raincoats they and let me indeed. let me get a picture so i like how i got them in the shot um and it was a little blue and i wasn't sure how to accommodate or adjust for that and um other than that i, I really liked it they both were smiling and happy and yeah, this is a really good solid shot. It has got a little, a slight bit of a blue cast on it. A lot of that you probably couldn't help because you're against a blue car and right. you've got a blue slicker going on here. So there's a lot of blue. But one of the things you also want to be really mindful of, mm -hmm. um, and this is something really, really easy and a lot of people forget to do it, mm -hmm. is the white balance on your camera. Okay, tell I know, me it more. sounds very technical. <laughs> I mean, does. even for photographers, they're like, what is white balance? So what your camera, particularly most SLRs can do, mm -hmm. it can adjust for the different tones oh, of light the that light. there are. Yeah, and so you would know where it is. If you look in your camera, it might be on the camera, it might be in the menu, okay. but it has a picture of a sun and a picture of like a light bulb and a picture of like sort of a jagged thunderbolt, right, which right. is supposed to be flash and, right. and that sort of stuff. So it will tell you what kind of light, it, what you can adjust it depending right. on what kind of light, and it will take that sort of color cast Got it. off of it. So, so go into the menu, tell it what, what sort of environment yeah, you're you in, in a, and it will adjust for the light. Absolutely, and you'll find a lot of times one of the biggest um, things that you'll see is a lot, your photograph will look all yellow. Right. And that's because you're shooting indoors and incandescent light. Yeah, a lot light. of those indoor shots did come out a little yellow. Exactly, if you change that, it will fix the, it will fix the shot, awesome. like magic. Have yeah. check that one. Exactly. Oh, goodness, and this last shot is just stunning. Thank you, thank you. This is a beautiful, stunning thank shot. You. So tell me about this. Um, they were just playing, and he had built something with blocks he was proud of, and I looked up at him and said, say cheese, and he just smiled and, and looked adorable, of course. Um, and I liked that his features were clear, his eyes were clear, yep. he was smiling, I got the dimple. Um, you know, the background was mostly blacked out. You couldn't see, which was nice. It wasn't distracting. Yeah. Um, and I just thought it was a very cute picture. It, excellent shot. It Thank really you. is a beautiful shot. Um, one thing that you did here that is a trick that any p portrait photographer does is you focused on the eyes, always. Mm. If nothing else is in focus, focus on the eyes. Right. There's a reason they say mm -hmm. the eyes are the window to the soul. Beautiful. You can totally see his pride. Yeah. One thing that you did here that I bet you wouldn't even think about doing, you just naturally did it, mm -hmm. which is awesome, is that you... Uh, sort of thought about the rule of thirds, or you complied with the rule of thirds. Okay. So let me tell you Probably. what that is. It's sort of a design rule mm -hmm. and a photography rule that says that the eye finds things more pleasing, images more pleasing, if things are offset just a little bit, either on the first or second third. So a little to the left, a, a little, little to, to the, the right, right, not directly in the And background. also up and down. So if oh, you okay. notice, like, his mouth is actually right. probably on the lower third. Right. Right. So it's beautifully comp composed wow. right here because Thank you. and you you didn't even know what I a fantastic no photographer you were. So these are awesome. Thank, Thank you so you. much for sharing these beautiful shots. Thanks for having me. And your awesome kids. Thanks. They're very, very cute. And thank you guys for joining us as well. I hope that you picked up a couple of tips and tricks to help you take some extraordinary photos. And if you're already sharing them online, please leave a link to them in the comments below so I can take a look. Also, make sure to subscribe to Cafe Mom Studios on YouTube so that you can make sure that you catch every episode. See you next time and stay extraordinary.